Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2022 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember Libra, these readings won't be for everyone. So just take what resonates with you as always. So we have two cards that have come out as your overarching energy. Sorry, I was just adjusting my seat. <laughs> we have the Lovers and the Page of Swords. The Lovers is your fellow brother or sister sign, Gemini. Okay, Libra, we have the High Priestess. The Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords here. Temperance. Let's pull cards for your love, romance, relationship area for September, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Libra? Love, romance, relationships for September 2022. Thank you. Thank you. We have the four of coins or pentacles. The devil. Let's have a look at money areas. What do we have for Libra, please? Money, career, finances. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Message for Libra. Thank you. I like that in money we have the King of Pentacles, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, or the energy of the card. We have Capricorn and Sagittarius here as well. The Eight of Pentacles too. So good money energy. Okay, Libra, I'm going to pull you... Your angel answer card. What do we have for Libra, please? Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. Thank you. We have look for a sign. You could be getting some signs. Intuitive energy going on. Feeling that something is, is coming your way. Bottom of the deck, actually. I've got opportunity. <laughs> Some kind of opportunity here hmm. in the near future. Okay, I'm going to stop looking now. Right, and let's pull a card for love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Libra? Message for Libra. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I mean, certainly that's being asked of you. And I feel these energies are all across the board, regardless of sometimes whether I ask for categories. Sometimes spirit just want to say, wants to say what he wants to say. And I feel that's the kind of case here. I've had this for quite a few signs this month. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Money, career, finances. Thank you. We have face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer hurt you or control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that, in fact, you have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Okay, Libra. So, the lovers can be a major choice. It can represent a relationship at a crossroads or a partnership of some kind. Uh, so, it could well be a business partnership of some kind for some of you. 
Um, but it can be about the relationship if it's to do with love, romance, relationships or something that affects that. Um, now, the Page of Swords can be about getting the information that you need. It could well be to make the decision. I mean, that could come in the form of information coming in, learning something, hearing something, getting news, a message of some kind again, however it resonates with you. But it helps you probably, it's either making a decision with that information or some message coming in that requires a decision. Because the lovers is generally quite a powerful union, two people who fit together just like pieces of a jigsaw, you know, it's a real powerful union energy. Uh, but there is this feeling here for some of you of you're at that point or you're at some kind of threshold where you need to make choices or decisions, important choices and decisions in general, it's about the way forward here. Let's have a look at relationships first here because there's a feeling of reading the signs. Even an opportunity is presented to continue on this path or move in a different direction. So the opportunity is presented and it's about reading the signs here quite significantly. Now, again, that page of swords, it might well be you learn something, you hear something, something comes to light here. Because we have the Eight of Swords and Temperance. Uh, somebody who is wondering what to do. They're wondering, what do I do? Which way do I go? Choosing what I want, what I don't want. How do I move forward? But the Eight of Swords is the energy of, of not feeling that you have the answer to make a decision right now. Uh, it's it takes patience, you know, and that's what I'm getting the strongest here because this can be sometimes about negative thinking as well. Um, but it feels in this energy here, Libra, somebody who is really wanting the answer, but they they just don't know. Now, the high priestess energy is intuitive and it's strong intuitive energy. Our intuition can guide us in times where we can't see things clearly with our logical mind. Um, it steps in, spirit steps in to guide us with our instinct, strong intuitive pull in a direction here. Uh, now this can be to do with surrendering to a painful ending. The, the Ten of Swords can be about feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, betrayed, thrown under the bus, deeply wounded, deeply hurt in a situation. Um, But there is an opportunity to surrender that now because it's a 10, it's a completion. Uh, so this feels like somebody who is thinking, I don't want to be hurt anymore. And the solution, the way forward, the light that I can see forward here from being in the ground is to end something so that it doesn't hurt me anymore. So that's the energy of the high priestess in the sense that if you're really at that point where you're learning something or hearing something here and there's a feeling here of I, I don't want to be hurt anymore, there could well be a strong energy here of, of intuitively feeling something has to end, you know, for my own health, for my own well-being, for me to step into the light of a situation and to lift some kind of cloud that's been hovering over me. That's the way forward and that's what you're seeing here. Because the devil is saying, can we give this relationship a chance? Can I have a chance? And I get that, you know, the devil is tempting, really tempting. And there's a feeling here, Libra, you may well have been here before. Um, and there's attachments here. This is somebody who you have a strong attachment with. Very attractive. So it can be about physical desire and passion, chemistry. Um, it can be to do with codependency, not feeling that you can live without the other person. 
uh, because they dominate so much, you know, it can be to do with ego, you know, someone doing what they want to go do and completely disregarding you. They just, they, there's this ego based energy uh, where they follow their desires, their passions, you know, whatever they want. And, you know, that's the leading factor here, whether it's addiction, whether it's temptation of some kind, this is just the energy of ego. Um, controlling behavior, again, it can mean a number of things, the devil, but there's a feeling here, self-preservation, self-protection, not giving to this anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the cocoon around me, you know, and I really feel even though I'm, I'm struggling to, to move forward here, to understand how to bring things back into balance and decide what I want and what I don't want. This is that strong intuitive energy of I know what's right for me. I just don't want to face it. The four of pentacles, self-preservation, self-protection. What do I need to do to protect myself now? So there's a, and that's not giving to this devil energy. This person is saying we can work through this. We can work through this. I'll prove myself to you. You know, I'll really work hard to prove myself to you. I'll work hard to earn your trust back. You know, I'll work hard to demonstrate that I can offer stability and security and all of that kind of energy here, Libra. It's interesting, if I took the financial element out of this, this is face your fears. Um, and we have give your relationship a chance. It's an interesting energy because there's a strong energy that I'm getting of somebody who, who gets the information that they need to make a decision or a choice, but it doesn't feel like it's easy to face. So again, free will, you make the choice for you. I mean, this energy is all about choices, you know, uh, because this can sometimes be about where we give in to the temptation of the devil and make that choice on that basis, you know, being fully aware what the devil is, but we give into it because it's too difficult to break free of. So again, this is that energy of, of making a choice or a decision. For others of you, this can be that kind of energy of there's an opportunity to do something different and you're thinking about that. You're thinking of how do I, how do I move forward and bring an end to this situation where I don't get hurt anymore, you know, hurt, disappointed, let down, betrayed. Again, there's levels to that card, but it feels, it feels somebody wants to see the light here, wants to find the solution. So that's what I have in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now, like I said, this can also be about business partnerships. This can also be to do with, um, This can also be to do with uh, choices, decisions. So for some of you, it could well be a money career thing or choices that affect a relationship in some way. There's a feeling here, Libra, of news coming in. Because like I said, the page of, of swords can just be that kind of the beginnings of something new. It's very refreshing. So it's, it's for me, I, it's, it's almost kind of like the change that's coming in with a news or a message or communication. So again, the change in this respect in terms of money, career finances could be a message of some kind that is connected to something new that presents some kind of choice or decision. So there may well be a choice to make in terms of, of you as a relationship in how you move forward if something presents itself in money and career. The energy of the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, this is trusting your intuition with regard to a painful ending. So something could have ended, you could have experienced some kind of job loss or employment loss or one of you could have, you are your other half. You know, uh, so this is that kind of energy of there could have been some kind of difficult ending that you've been experiencing here. Um, could be job loss. For some of you, it could have been health areas as well, affecting your money, career, finances too. And you've been working back 
to, you know, to get back into feeling abundant as well. So that can be this kind of energy. We have the Eight of Swords and Temperance. So this is the energy here of, of, of feeling trapped in your circumstances and feeling like nothing's going to change. Temperance can be patience in all things when you try and get balance back uh, because it's where you adapt and respond to the changes that have happened in your life. And this Eight of Swords still feeling stuck because it, there is a suggestion there, a strong suggestion that something ended. Uh, so somebody, you know, may have experienced some kind of job loss of some kind. But there's a feeling here of, of feeling that things are beyond your control, you know, just feeling trapped in a situation is what I'm getting. But you're being guided every step of the way. You know, there's a strong energy of guidance. Uh, you know, temperance is a very spiritual energy as well. So there's a lot of guidance being given to you in times where you're trying to adapt to your circumstances and move forward and really bring good fortune, change your fortunes around even. Because for some of you, your relationship could have been challenged with the circumstances that you found yourself in. Uh, so the devil can, like I said, the devil can be somebody who takes care of themselves, uh, leaves you financially, uh, counting the pennies, you know, using savings. This can be that kind of energy. The devil can also be this feeling of feeling trapped, feeling powerless within a situation here and not feeling, not seeing how to break free of it, um, is what I'm getting the strongest here, uh, because it, it it can just be this energy of, of just feeling trapped in your circumstances and not, not feeling that you can actually move forward because there is a feeling of being trapped with the devil energy. You can see the, those two people with chains on. You're feeling chained to your circumstances and not being able to break free of it in some way and this kind of negative thinking or mindset or philosophy that stems from that feeling powerless and not feeling that anything's ever going to change. Is what I'm getting here. Because this can just feel like, you know, you're trapped in a prison. A prison of your own mind, prison of your reality. So here we have the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here, Libra. So the Eight of Pentacles is all about working really hard. Somebody who's working really, really hard to get abundance back. Now, the King of Pentacles can be a number of things. This can be to do with um, somebody who you're connecting with who holds an opportunity. Can be very good on the money front, the career front. Would be uh, somebody who is very methodical, somebody who's very detailed orientated, somebody who's very clever, but understands practically how to achieve money, how to make money, how to be abundant, how to be successful. So they're very self-sustained energy, the, the King of Pentacles energy. So for some of you, it might well be that you're, you've been working hard and your hard work is paying off because this King of Pentacles can be a strong energy here of, of giving you some level of opportunity here. Now, it can also be for some of you, uh, can be also linked to some kind of investor energy too. So if for some of you, if it was a partnership and you just had to make clear decisions or choices, you know, on how the partnership mo moves forward. You know, there's a feeling here of potential endings happening here. This can be that kind of energy where you attract some kind of investor or partner of some kind is what I'm getting. So, par yeah, partner, investor could be a business angel. I mean, it could also be getting some kind of troubleshooter in as well. So it could well be for some of you that, you know, you get somebody who's financially savvy, 
be it an investor or somebody who can advise you in terms of how to put your work in to bring change here. So that's what I'm getting for that kind of energy. Because, you know, I'm looking at that devil. Because the devil can be, uh, we always talk negatively about the devil, but the devil is, is, is the energy of what tests us can make us stronger. We learn from our mistakes. We learn from our challenges. We learn from our tests, our experiences here. And we become savvy. You know, we become worldly wise as a result of what the devil, you know, um, you know, teaches us. So there is a feeling here. I mean, this, this Capricorn energy as well is a very savvy energy. Um, streetwise, savvy energy in terms of business, career, finances, understanding how to turn situations around and make things work to your advantage. You know, by having been tested, by having learnt lessons here, that's the Saturnian energy of the devil. So that's what I'm also getting with that card as well, which I don't always get a lot of. Um, but it can be very, very savvy, seeing things for what they are and being realistic, being very worldly wise and responding. You know, this is a situation, uh, you know, we're not sugarcoating it. So let's respond in a savvy way. So I'm also getting this kind of energy. Yeah. So for some of you, this is an energy of look for sign opportunity in the near future. And I feel this person is providing the way forward here, Libra. So again, take what resonates for you, but that's definitely the energies that I'm getting for you. Just seeing if anything else is coming to me, but I think that's it. Okay, let's pull you a number. What do we have for Libra, please? Yeah, <laughs> new beginnings, yeah. And it's linked with this page of swords, messages, information, news, you know, whatever this choice is for you, it's linked with something new and refreshing. We have, um, or something, something that you learn that enables something new and refreshing. We have new beginnings, number one. Bottom of the deck, we have number 37, time out. So it might well be for some of you, you know, you need some time out. Well, if you've been working so hard, it might well be spirit is telling you that you need to take a little bit time out. Um, number 93, happy ending. Feels like all's going to end well for you. Happy ending. I have to say, I keep on wanting to look at your cards. <laughs> Communication, which I feel is... Again, learning something, hearing something. We have uh, communication coming in, which is one of your overarching energies. Number 33. Okay, Libra, let's pull you a final message. Final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. Oh, I love this card. We have squirrel. Squ oh my goodness, I keep on wanting to say squirrel maintenance with this card. No matter what I do, it's a thing Libra. I've got it in my mind. Heaven knows what it is. We have squirrel, spiritual maintenance, be your own caretaker. This is putting your money in the right energy and what's going to bring you reward, growth, happiness, you know, it, fulfillment, bounty. So again, that could be in relationships. That could well be in terms of money, career, finances. Again, if you're working really hard like the squirrel does, this is a hard work energy. This would be, you know, take time out. We do have golden unicorn ascension, awaken to your soul's potential. So it does feel that you're going to rise. You know, this is an energy of rising, that upward curve. Um, it's a really lovely energy. The unicorn is also a very lucky, a lucky card to have. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.